Let us meet Ned Hogg on the field of battle. I want to raid Vivian here. Alphen will get your own. Feel bad for those guys. <laughs> they didn't even have a name. Reinforcements! By the fury. That one is the size of Nidhogg. Maybe it is Nidhogg. Maybe that's why. <laughs> oh no, it says. <does>. Yay. <laughs> Good thing they didn't open fire on us. That would have been awkward. Lord Commander. You are late, Warrior of Light. <laughs> That's like you guys when I'm late to start the stream. <laughs> you are late. <laughs> Hey, I like to be fashionably lit. I'll have you know. Fashionably lit so you can slow walk into danger? Exactly. Hello, Estenny Hog. Yeah, get the popcorn out. Might be a long one. We haven't seen the uh, several cutscenes we'll play pop up yet. At least he's trying to actually uh, reason with him, but I've got a feeling Nidhogg is not going to say yes to it. That vile maid. <laughs> she has a name, it's Yazelle. Gonna say that man. I did like uh <laughs> Amaric tried to stop it somehow. It's like I don't think you were gonna stop that, did I had a feeling that was gonna happen. Started seeing the eyes lighting up. I knew that he was using the power of the eyes. Knew it wasn't going to be that easy. Yeah, I mean, Race Falgar was just kind of keeping to himself, so it's not really any surprise that Ned Hogg's stronger. I was gonna say, like, where's the other eye? How did he get over here? Did he somehow pop it out before he went to fight him? Maybe when that big uh, tower fell?
perfectly timed, but. <laughs> It's playing the credits song, so we must be about to win. Got the power of the music on our side. Right, guys. Let's go beat Nidian. Wow, we called us maggots. You guys gonna take that? Is it back to? It's back to SD Hog. Hey, there he is. He was hiding inside the whole time. Who knew? Right, Alpha, no, now's your chance. Pull the eyes off him, like you said you were going to do. Oh, the glasses are off. Astinian. Now's your chance, Alphano. Go get him. Is this to be my end? Nay, I will not allow it. I am of the first brood. I am vengeance incarnate. Thou shalt die by my hand. This is not your hand, worm. One last favor of you, warrior of light. Finish me. Now, while I have the beast subdued. <laughs> Man, if only Desmond could scream. Surely, surely no. You see him? It's the ghost of Yazeel. Why'd you have to do this to me? I was just about to crack a joke like, um, <laughs> like another hand pops up and it's like Fancred's hand or <laughs> it's like a tentacle or something, like something daft <laughs> if it's his hand into <laughs> But then Harshi Van had to show him. <laughs> oh, it was good to see him again though. Even though it's probably temporary. Hopefully now they can rest. I knew as soon as like the glasses went on, I was like, ah, something's gonna happen, man. It's usually the case. At least we, uh, looks like we've saved the Stinian, which is good.
I don't know about you, but see, doing that, wouldn't, wouldn't someone just find them again? Is there no way to actually destroy them? Jesus, how strong is Amaric? Steady and ain't short, and he's wearing his armor. Hey, you're alive! Saved a great many lives. Oh yeah, do you um, do you want your eye back? Still hasn't cleaned his goddamn armor. You know what? Hopefully, it will be clean now. Oh, you don't want the eye back? Or did I like use it up and now it's gone? Or something. Man, I thought he was done for as well. Truth be told, Estinian's tactless observations have saved me from disaster more than once. I can well understand Alphino's affection for him. He is a friend whom I would gladly... Gladly what? It better be these woke up and not something's went wrong. Alpha no better know he did something dodgy to him. He's sitting trying to feed him grapes while he's unconscious and he's choked on them or something. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, I don't know if I like this. I don't know if I like this, guys. Is he crying? He better not be dead. This would have been more of a reveal if I didn't already seen what a uh, cooler studying looked like. Slash pet Alfie. <laughs> Forgive me. When I saw you awake and I could not. It was such a relief. We feared you might never wake up. I mean, a steady just woke up and he's turned around and just seen Alfie. People going, Ugh, big snorting mess right beside him. No wonder he's like, go away. <laughs> now, now, Astinian. If Master Alphano thought any less of you, you would still be Nidhogg's plaything. Or dead. I hide was but a jest. What handsome man. I He's almost as handsome as Desmond. And you too, warrior of light. Quite how you managed to persuade Hraisvogger to aid in his brood brother's downfall, I cannot imagine. But full glad am I that you did. It is an honor to share the mantle of Azudragu with one such as you. Just don't look at the neck too long. Why? That boy got a long neck. For my part, owe you an apology. When last we met, I did willingly loose an arrow at your heart. Can you forgive me? There is naught to forgive, Hamerick. You but acted in defense of Ishgard as is your duty. Were you any less single-minded about it, I would not follow you into battle nor trust you at my God, this weird scene of Stenian, like like this. He's been so edgy the whole time and now he's like pure nice guy. Oh that is a long neck. I can see it now. The self same conclusion that I would have to perish for Nidhogg to be stopped. So let us dispense with the hand ringing. He sounds really different. Has he got a new voice actor? Or is it just because the voice actor hasn't been an edgy boy? You can't unsee it. Oh 
Ow. You got that giraffe neck. Exactly, he needs it to reach the leaves off the trees. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's like half a meter, man. He's a vampire's wet dream. Though his shade is banished, his spirit scattered upon the sea of clouds. I feel no joy at his passing. Where once I craved vengeance, I now crave rest. Lord Commander, my hunt is at an end. I would lay down the mantle of Azure Dragoon. My friend. He's no longer as Estinian the Azure Dragoon. He has tired himself with too many words. I doubt not that he will make a full recovery, but he must be allowed some few days of quiet. Prominent among the many honored guests at Sir Emmerich's investiture were the ambassadors of Dragonkind, a fitting symbol of Ishgard's newfound peace. Is that him basically? <laughs> Amrit basically saying, look what I can do, guys. I can raid the dragon. He may not be wearing the armor anymore, but his lance is still red. Clean it. I was just about to say, where's Despin? <laughs> Thus were the notes of the dragon song rewritten. The din of war giving way to a rising litany of peace and hope. Check out, check out my new mountain dude's eyes so showing it off. He's like, I got it in a wee raid, you know? It's a rare, rare drop, you know? Check it out, boys. I must have just been seeing race Falgar off. I was making sure he got home alright, you know. I'll walk you halfway, mate. Make sure you get home. Can never be too careful, I know. You never know what's out there. see why the uh, image was the book because that says uh, what he's been writing the whole time Since you asked, game of uh, knots and crosses. Okay, so that's you. It's my turn now. Over here. Right. What's your next move, guys? Oy, it's another victory for me, boys. <laughs> Just like with uh, Gratia's forehead, I have won. And then his eyes became red and blood. Blood started to seep out of them. 
He then grew the horns and he scared me. He turned into the devil. Blah, blah, blah. What have you done to the pearl mine? I didn't do it and he did this to himself. <laughs>